What's up, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my 2K16 Let's Play Ebenezer's Revenge, my career, etc., etc. Happy Leap Day, Leap Year. It is the 29th of February. This is episode 102, and we're fighting Seth Rollins like three times in the same week, which is ridiculous. But hey, there are things to discuss today, so at least we are once again the main event. And granted, it's SmackDown, but, you know, it's something, I suppose. So, welcome to Monday. It is a fine Monday here. Uh, I had some things this morning, which kind of pushed back my, my recording schedule, so I'm kind of only going to do one video today, and probably a short one. But, uh, wouldn't want to have two Rollins matches in the same day. That's kind of obnoxious. Anyway, there are a handful of, of, of things that I wrote down here to discuss, um... The first of which being that the big announcement from, or the, the Monday teaser from Finn Balor ended up being new merchandise. And that new merchandise is funny because it, it says Bulletproof Balor Club. So, granted, they don't have the rights to Bullet Club, but they literally par are putting out a t-shirt that has the words Bullet and Club in it at the beginning and the end. It is the Bulletproof Balor Club. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Um, and here we go with Seth Rollins. Um, both have signature here, so that's something. Get it back in the ring, Rollins. What are you doing? Uh, let's see. But yes, it is a leap year, and this is the first time ever that Monday Night Raw will be falling on a leap year. This is the first leap year Raw ever. Anything could happen! But it'll probably be the same stuff that usually happens on Raw, more or less, as we lead up to WrestleMania. Now, you will not see another Raw on a leap year for another 40, or, until 2044. And I forgot to change my, my finisher again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I forgot. I swear, I will finish this video and change that finisher. I swear. Um, the next Raw on a leap year won't happen for another 28 years in 2044. Um... Also saw some rumors of uh, potentially having a n another brand split between Raw and SmackDown after WrestleMania, uh, and that certainly would at least perhaps get me to watch SmackDown because I just don't watch SmackDown because nothing important ha happens on SmackDown. But hey, if you if you got a brand split going on, then perhaps something significant will happen on SmackDown because obviously they they hopefully wouldn't be recapping SmackDown stuff on Raw. Hopefully. I don't know that for sure, um, but that certainly, uh, you know, could could potentially be interesting, uh, but most likely won't be. Considering what, what what happened in the last brand split, they gotta actually take it seriously, and they pro they probably won't. But hey, that's that's gonna be a case where hey, if you want to see a bunch of John Cena, then don't watch Raw. You, you can not see John Cena, so he'll or no, don't watch SmackDown because he'll he'll be, he'll be on Raw. And, and if they draft him, they'll draft him back in the same night. Um, but does a brand split mean they're going to bring back bragging rights? You know? Are they going to have individual pay-per-views? Please, God, don't have individual pay-per-views. That was a fucking nightmare. Um, yeah, there, there are a number of things that I recall from that brand split being annoying. Um, even though it, 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 it did allow different talent to thrive on, on SmackDown, so... There was the SmackDown 6. Um, I think that was the same time period. It, it could have been afterwards. I don't know. But I think the problem is, you know, with any kind of a brand split, unlike the last brand split, you're not going to have Paul Heyman writing SmackDown. You're not going to have him on that creative team, so what the fuck good is it, you know? That's just, that, that's just my opinion. Um, he's going for it again. Nope. Got out of it. And a neck breaker. And now he has his finisher. Um, so, the question, I guess, uh, I had a thought there and I lost it. My apologies. Um, yeah, I don't know. Brand split? Sure. Fine. Uh, certainly with, with the network, they can leverage that differently than they did last time. And certainly having both shows, Raw and SmackDown on USA, uh, could, you know, be an interesting take on that stuff. But, 
at the same time, what does that mean for, you know, NXT? I suppose. Oh, I thought I reversed that. Come on now. As a reminder, we are playing on hard now and not legend because le le legend with no manager is a fucking nightmare. Um, what else? I had seen that Rusev uh, on Twitter was teasing a big announcement uh, from Raw tonight in Tennessee, I believe, is where it's at. And that's where he lives or where he has his house um, with Lana. Uh, so... Whether or not he actually has an announcement, that remains to be seen. But he's saying that he has a big announcement on Raw. I can only hope that, that his, his, his big announcement is that he's leaving the League of Nations because they're a bunch of freaking jobbers. Like, it, it, that, that, that's not getting him anywhere. And honestly, they're not giving him any freaking mic time. So, screw him, you know? Rusev still is able to make... Uh, he's, he's able to spin gold on that microphone. And... Being not allowed to do it is a damn crime. That's what I'm saying. So I finished that match with the Insiguri. I was going to go for the pedigree, steal his finisher. Uh, but we'll save that. We'll save, in this trio of matches, we will save Ebenezer stealing the pedigree as the finisher for the very last spot of that match at Survivor Series. Which is going to be tomorrow, because I have other things to deal with in real life, which is unfortunate. But what are you going to do? Are we going to get a Renee Young interview here? Is that what's uh, uh, going to be happening? Because uh, it's loading for so long. Like, occasionally it does, and sometimes it doesn't, which I don't understand. Like, if you're going to load this long, then at least show me there she is. Creepy-ass robot face. Let's talk about Seth I, I just beat him. Twice. Is there something you want to tell him tonight? Yeah, I, wh I whipped your candy ass. Matches everything to me. Yeah, he better be ready for a war. This match, it's everything to me. I'm not just some punk kid or flash in the pan. I am a legitimate WWE superstar. Yeah, legitimate. I am the future mm -hmm. of this business, and I am going to prove it to him. I will get that win for myself and the WWE universe that is behind me. They're kind of not though, because I'm still a heel for some ungodly, unknown, unexplained reason. Back to you guys. I don't get it. And one last thing I wanted to... to oh, my rank increased. Now I am ranked four. And the Big Show's dropping. We got Brian Reigns and, and Big Show. Didn't I beat Reigns in that feud? Why am I still like underneath where he's at? And Rollins is way down there at number nine. Anyway, um, one last thing I wanted to touch on here before I wrap it up on a very short Monday afternoon video... Um, is that apparently Ryback was working both face and heel on different house show dates, which is weird. Um, so I feel like they, they, they don't know what to do with, like, they don't know what to do with, do with him, and he doesn't know what to do with him. So, like, he's, he's doing stuff like he's a freaking luchador. Like, you're not, just be a big tough guy, you got a lot of muscles. Like, that should be your thing, right? Right? I don't know. Anyway, uh, that, uh, to save you from having to watch me whip his ass, Mr. Rollins here, twice in one day, and because obviously it is Monday, and things like Raw are happening, so go watch Raw, I guess, um, but tomorrow, <clears throat> tomorrow, uh, we will certainly defeat Seth Rollins at Survivor Series, we will hopefully, uh, start the next feud the night after Survivor Series, and the question is, uh, who should I attack, uh, either Big Show, Team Cheeseburger, or Daniel Bryan, because I'm not having another, I'm not giving Roman Reigns any more screen time here, even though he's ranked number one, but I have to get to three before I can challenge the beast, your boy, Brock Lesnar. So let me know, Big Show or Daniel Bryan, leave it in the comments, and I will attempt that tomorrow, if they're on the next show that I can actually attack them at, so that, that kind of uh, is the problem there. So, we'll see, currently... Playing on hard, no tag partner, no manager, tr trying to turn face, that's what's going on. Uh, I'm a tax look. This has been my ongoing, very long, my longest video series ever, ongoing let's play of the 2K16 My Career Mode, Ebenezer's Revenge on PS4. Thanks for watching. I'm a tax slug. More videos every day, and I'll see you next time, right here on the channel. And I'm out!